So now guys, in the last two lectures, if you followed along, and I hope so, you have created the design, you designed it very nicely, and you created the animation. Now it's time to tweak the animations and also to sequence. Let's start with Tanzania and its background. I press U to open the keyframes, as you remember. And you notice here it's looking very ugly because the text is appearing much before the background settles, and this is not good. You could now start clicking on the text layer and start moving it around. That's one way. But I wouldn't like to do that. I want to adjust them using the keyframes because I want the in point of both layers to be always, you know, on the same line, just for aesthetic. And actually, it's going to be much better when I'm sequencing. I want to zoom in here a bit. So I can click on the zoom in in time. Here you are. Let's take the timeline indicator to the beginning. And if you zoom in here, you notice I'm seeing more frames. Nothing else is happening. Let's look at it carefully here. I can take the first keyframe of opacity and move it to this side. The best way is to come just over here somewhere and start looking at it. Is it happening? No. Okay. So maybe it should start appearing from this here. Okay. So I'll take this keyframe and just bring it here. Here you are. Notice now it comes in the background and then Tanzania, the word, the text layer start appearing. I'm moving frame by frame. Cool. Now the animation is too fast. Okay, I can make it longer. And uh, let's play it and see exactly what's going to happen. Okay, it looks good. Right, guys? Notice? Yes. Not bad at all. So I want to use exactly the same for the August here. So select the background of the date and select August. Press U. So I will go over to the opacity here, bring the first keyframe here, and bring the second keyframe here. If my animation is correct, it's going to appear just the same. Otherwise, I will have to tweak it. But it's appearing pretty nice here. Notice if I play it, very nice. Cool. Let's look at our layers now. I'll select them all, twirl up. Let's start sequencing the rest. We come to the beginning here. And let's think about it. Maybe we get top news to start with. So it appears, stays there for a second maybe, and then the place and the date will come in. Then the title of the news will come in. That makes logic, right? It's not all about motion graphics and so on, but also you have to make it, you know, very logical for the viewer. Okay, let's go with this concept. So we want news to come first. We leave it there. Then August and so on to come later. So we'll click on it and just drag it. Let's say, I don't know, one second or two seconds. Let's zoom in. We can see better here. Fine, let's go to something like this. Okay, one second. Okay, I think it's going to be too long. Then after another one second, you bring in the lower third. Let's play and see exactly, is it nice enough? Not bad, it's okay. We need also to look at the damage forest and so on. We don't want them to come all at the same time. So the first one is the background, then the big title, for example. Then maybe the small title, just a bit later. Let's see it. Not bad. Let's deselect. Okay. So I think it's quite good. Of course, you can do much better than that. Top news, guys. In Tanzania on August 2045, there has been forest flood and heavy rains, and the damage is $20 million. Let's listen. Yeah, well, it works. So it's actually not only about motion graphics. It's about you creating motion graphics that make sense, and somehow your videos are making sense to the viewer. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope this was very useful animation, and you can replicate it, even do much better than that. Remember, if you have any question, Put them in the Q&A section of the course and I will be very happy to help you out. See you in the next lecture.